Sheath, why did you bring me here in the first place? Oh, I just want to show you a move I saw in the movie once. But we gotta climb this mountain first before I show you. Okay, but why did we need to climb Mount Ebert just so you could show me a move you saw? Trust me, Edge. You're gonna love this to death. Wow, that's not ominous at all. Uh, hold on, Sheets. I got a phone call from someone. Huh. Unknown number. Uh, hello? Who's this? Hey there, Ash. This is Toy Chica. Oh, hello there, Toy Chica. What can I do for you? I would like to know if Sheets is with you. Sheets? Uh, no. I haven't seen him around lately, Chica. Okay, if you see him, tell him he's late on the child support. Uh, okay, Chica. I'll relay that message if, if I see him. Okay, bye, Chica. Uh, Sheets? What was that about child support? The animatronic is dumb. How can an animatronic give birth, let alone get pregnant? There's no way that boy is mine. Right. How do you know it's a baby boy? I, um, uh, that is a... Uh, moving on! Uh, let's get to the top so I can enjoy that move already. Wow! 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 That is one D ho 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 Okay yes, if you're done admiring the view, are you ready to see that move I told you about? Okay she's what's the first thing we do? Okay, first thing I say is this is Sparta Then I kick you into this hole right here. Like so. Hey, Edge, hey, if you're dead, hey, don't say hey, anything. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, my head. That was quite a fall. Wait, what the? Yellowed flowers? Oh, no. We're doing an Undertale parody? Ah, uh, great. Well, I better go off and get my butt kicked by a stupid talking flower. Huh. That doesn't look like flowers in this room right now. Maybe if I time it just right, I can avoid him completely. Howdy! I'm Flowery! Flowery the Flower! <laughs> You're new to the underground, aren't you? Someone ought to teach you how things go around here. I guess that all we will have to do. Oh, just shut up and attack me already. Wow, what a cute joy! Bye! Bye! And enter Toyo in three, two, one. Wait, what just happened? Ow, that really hurt. What a dreadful creature, attacking such a poor innocent youth, squeaking human. I am Toyo, caretaker of the ruins. I come by this way every day to see if a human has fallen down. You are the first one that has fallen down in quite a while. Are you hurt? Here, I will heal you. Come, I will take you to some place safe. Follow me. Hmm, I might like this parody after all. Hold it right there, Cupid. How much for you to not hit me with that owl? What a dreadful creature, attacking such a poor innocent youth, squeaking human. I am Toria, caretaker of the ruins. I come by this way every day to see if a human has fallen down. You are the first one that has fallen down in quite a while. Are you hurt? Here, I will heal you. Come, I will take you to some place safe. Follow me. Hmm. I might like this parody after all. Uh, hold up, Toyo, I'm coming. Hold it right there, Cupid. How much for you to not hit me with that owl? If I love anything more than making people fall in love, I love money. And he paid me a hefty sum to not hit him with a love owl. However, that deal wasn't for Toyo. And I have a special arrow for her. What 
Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operations of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Agent fusion between diversions and door keys. Late just yourself to the side of them. It's just me or did Toyo get a budget increase in between scenes? To make progress here, you will need to trigger several fishes. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Wow, what a complicated puzzle. I wonder which one they could be. Well, here we are. The last puzzle before we can get to the safe zone. Seriously, Torio, I don't get the point with this puzzle. <laughs> nice one. I think we're gonna get along very well. That puzzle wasn't so hard now, was it? Yeah, it was an absolute walk in the ruin. Well, here we are. Welcome to my home. Whoa, Toriel, moving a little fast, aren't we? I mean, you haven't even asked my name, let alone going out on a first date and you're already taking me back to your place? You move fast, don't ya? What? Uh, no, no, it, it's not like that. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I think I left my oven on. Uh, make yourself at home. You know, if it was any other woman other than Toriel who had said that, I would be a little suspicious with that saying. I hope you like your pie extra crispy. I have to say, Torio, your meal was delicious, and this pecan pie, Mwah. just a cherry on top. If you think that was good, why don't you try my snail pie? Stop right there, Torio. You did so much for me lately. You healed my wound, gave me a place to stay, and fed me. The least I could do is do some chores around the house, so I'll handle the cleanup. You just go ahead and relax. You earned it. Thank you for cleaning up. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I still haven't asked your name yet. Perfectly okay, Torio. My name is Edgeblade, and it's nice to be living here with you. Do, 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 do. And that's the last dish. All done. Well then, if you're all done with the dishes, why don't you follow me? There's something I'd like to show you. T Toria, are, are you okay? Is something wrong? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. I just noted how attractive you look right now. Whoa, wait a second. Pause animation. Cupid, where are you? You got me, Edge. Cupid, what the heck? I thought we had a deal. There was. I don't hit you with a love owl. You didn't say anything about Toyo. Happen, you do. <sighs> Never make a deal with a love fairy. Well, I might as well enjoy it. Wow. Who would have thought Toria would be such a kisser? I kind of liked it. Now, let me show you where you'll be sleeping, Edge. Uh, Toria, I think this bed might be a little too small for me. Really? What makes you think that, Edge? I don't know. Call it a lucky guess. Well, I guess you're gonna have to sleep with me. At least until we get a bigger bed for you. Why do I get the feeling you planned this from the beginning, Toria? Why do I suddenly feel like I lost any chance of me and Torio getting back together now? Wow. Never thought that I would be ending the day by doing that. I'll have to thank Cupid next time I see her. <sighs> no one's in that room. Me, I better look in the next one. Hmm, that's weird. The door seems to be locked with magic. Well, there's no problem with the fairy. Wait a minute, they're together, oh boy, what I got a job to do. Get ready to do, it's time for you to visit the hub.
Um, Ash, do you have any idea where we are right now? Ah, crap, we're in the hub. Ash, what is the hub exactly? Basically, Torio, the hub is a special place where edges from the multiverse can all get together and socialize with each other. Well, if that's the case, then why am I here? Because you were making physical contact with him and allowed you to join him in this world. Ah! Mm, she took that better than I thought she would. Agreed. I was sure she was going to try to barbecue you. Like that would do anything, considering your physical bodies are still in bed together. Through that, anyway, what have you been up to, Gardevoir? Everything going good for you? Eh, I've been better. Because there are people mistake me for a woman all the time. Wow, that's rough. Uh, one second. Wow, I heard of picking up chicks before, but that takes it to a whole new level. Torio, meet God of our Edge. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, I was expecting another male version of Edge. I am a male version of him! Uh, Torio, why don't you go ahead and explore around? Me and God of our Edge have some things to talk about. <laughs> Right, uh, see you guys later. So, Gardevoir, who was this chaperone that brought me and Toriel here? Oh, I believe it was Navi the fairy's turn today. Great, Navi? You mean that annoying fairy from Ocarina of Time? Hey, no, I did not want to be the annoying fairy in this game. No, I wanted to be the gaining system, but no, they just had to give me some fucking lines. And then I hate myself in that game. And it's so me and you remind me of the moment in my life. Oh, uh, sorry, Navi. I didn't know. Whatever. Just tell me when you're ready to go back to the regular. I'm gonna go down to the craps table. Navi, really should stop gambling. You already took an L32 loans on your home. Don't you tell me what to do. You're not my mom. I'll take out as many f loans as I want. Oh, there's some females over there. Wait a minute. I think I recognize two of them. So, I have to use this to break the barrier to set monsters free? That's the long gist of it. Yes. Doesn't it look a little bland for a keyblade? Well, if you're gonna nitpick about it, how about this? There, is that better? Hmm, not bad. I like it. I shall dub the Undertale Keyblade. Hey, you know something funny? That model's name is actually called Undertale Keyblade. Coincidence, isn't it? So go to the barrier, break the barrier, set the month of three. Anything else? Yes, we would like you to give this to Flowey. So, let me get this straight. In each one of your realities, you are all married to an alternate version of Edge? I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of weird. Huh, if it got weird, got it here, that's her actual height! What? But, but how? She's as tall as me. How is she physically that tall? Well, I don't know the specifics of what happened, but I... I think I heard it go something like this. Hey, alternate version of Edge, I heard you spell to show you. It's called New Perspective. Oh, Cash, enjoy the new look, you two. I gotta get back to my own dimension. Well, Gadget, she did say to enjoy it, so, um, might be a little awkward, but, uh, 
feel like uh, going out on a date with me? Oh, yeah. I remember it like that, too, Muffin. And what makes it even weirder, Twilight Sparkle wasn't even part of that reality. Huh, you think that's weird, Undyne? I can talk that. I gave birth to a little human baby boy. That hatched from an egg. That was in me for nine months. Top that! I felt threatened one time and I ate my youngings. What? I'm a piranha. That's what we do. What do you expect? Uh, I think I'm gonna go see what my edge is up to. Uh, nice speaking you are. Sorry about the accommodations, Edge, but the only other bed in this house was the one belonging to my son, and it would be way too small, so you can see why we had to do this. Eh, don't mention it, Toyo. Gave me a reason to experience the fluffiness of your fur. You are so warm. Why, thank you, Edge, for the compliment. Now, I think I will go and get breakfast ready. You can go and freshen up. The bathroom is the first door on your right. What? Were you expecting to see Toyo and something else? What do you think this is? Not YouTube? Ooh, wait a minute. Where's the keyblade? Oh, right. I could just summon it out of thin air. I forgot about that. But, uh, where's the egg and soul for Flowey? Oh, there they are. Conveniently on the floor. Hmm, let me think. In the original video, Toriyo gave me a baby harness for the egg. Hmm, can't do it this one. Hey, animator, give me a baby harness for this egg. Thank you. Now, off to go see Flowey. 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 Hey, Azriel. Hey, human. How did the heck do you know that name? Never mind that. I have a present for you, Flowey. Slash Adriel. A present? Are you planning on giving me a soul? Well, I am here to give you a soul, but not my soul. But it is my soul, but it's just not my soul. What the heck does that mean? Ah, uh, you know what? Just take the damn soul. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Why is it every time I use fire magic it makes the food come to life? This is as worse as those stupid cupcakes. <laughs>
I got a mission from God of War Ez to go all the way to the castle and break the barrier with this keyblade. I was just wanting to know if it would be okay if I did that. So, let me get this straight. The person who brought my son back from the brink of death wants to go all the way to the castle to break the barrier? Absolutely not. I will not let you go to the castle. But, Torio, I must do it. It is my mission. I have to... Hey, you two. If you're done making out, we have a situation out here. Actually, Ezreal, yes, we we're all done here. So what is the problem you're having? Yeah, something's wrong with the egg. It just started pulsating and glowing. What the heck does that mean, anyway? Oh, oh that, that just means it's gave me the hatch. hatch. Maybe you two should get together. That's real. How could you even think that? Well, well let me ask you this, Mom. Are you ever going to get back together with Dad or what? After what he did? Never. Well, there you go, Mom. You might as well move on. Now, I'm going to go keep an eye on the egg and see what it's going to hatch into. I'm hoping a dragon. That would be so cool to have a pet dragon. Wow, he's going to be disappointed, isn't he? Unfortunately, yes, I'm afraid you're right. He's going to be very disappointed when that egg passes and is not a dragon. We better be there to comfort him when it happens. Furthermore, if you try to leave the ruins, I will personally barbecue that ass of yours. Coming, Azriel! Well, I heard of burning off calories, but I think that would be a little extreme. Come on, little one. Your new family is here waiting for you. Ah, uh, Mom? Have you seen Edge? Oh, he did not just do what I think he did. You know, funny story. This is actually a one-to-one -one recreation of the original. Uh, except for this dialogue right here. Son of a... Adriel, grab the egg. We're going on a field trip. So, oh, this is the underground. Why is it snowing? I thought we were underground. How can it be snowing? Hey, hey, man. A human. I need to report this to King Asgore immediately. Oh, uh, maybe I'll just keep this human for myself. For research, uh, of course. Megaton, where are you? I am right here, Elvis. What is it that I can do for you? I would like you to find me the best dress you can. I want to be ready for when the human gets here. Right, right, Elvis. I will go and find the perfect Elvis for your rendezvous with love. Wait a second. What is that? <laughs> Keep it again. Why do we even allow a monster like that to exist? Hmm. I wonder if Tori is going to be mad at me. I told you not to go to the underground edge. Now pay the price. Whoa, I better not stick around to find out. I better move on. Meanwhile, back at Tori's house. <laughs> Mom, I know you are happy for me to be back, but... Is this really necessary? I just got you back, and you think I'm gonna take the chance of you dying again? No way, Jose! You're staying close to me so I can keep an eye on you! Oh man! Why do I feel like this is karma from teasing Ed so much? What kind of gate is this? What are they trying to keep out? Elephants? There's something behind me, isn't there? Human, don't you know how to greet a new friend? Turn around and shake my hand. <coughs> the old Whoop Kitchen in the hand trick. Always funny. Uh, that wasn't the Whoopee Cushion. Huh. <laughs> I thought I forgot to put it on. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. 
I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans, but I really don't feel like capturing any humans today. Too much work? If, if you want to go, go right ahead. My bro made the gate himself, but he made it a little too big to stop anyone. Take your time. I'll meet you up ahead. Should I be concerned that he went the wrong way? Well, I might as well start walking through. Oh, nope, I'm going this way now. T Toya! Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> uh. Hey, uh, Edge. Do you have a banana in your pocket? Because something in there is growing. In the Edgeverse, I'm technically considered a grunt. And all grunts must follow orders that they are given. Or be erased. What? When did we make that rule? Eh, I think it's just pulling out of its own ass. Hey, come on guys, I really want to see this. Plus, I got some money on it saying that they're going to get together. You want in? Well, regardless, I'm still not going to let you go to the castle. But, Toyo, I... Alone, that is. What? If you have no choice and you have to do this, then I will be your personal guide and make sure you're safe from the other monsters here. And I won't take no for an answer. So basically, you're just going to be my babysitter, huh? Huh, trying to claw a bitch. But don't think you're going to get away with disobeying my orders. You're still going to get punished for that. You're not going to burn my ass, are you, Toriel? No, no, I have something much better in mind. Get behind the bush. As I said. Okay, if you really is just close, then what is he? Uh, Torio, I understand I have to wear your dress as my punishment, but what is this material made of? It's so itchy. Coat fur, what else? So what does that mean? I'm wearing your winter coat? Well, duh! Why do you think we get the material to make all our clothes, Edge? Have you seen any sheep down here? That doesn't, doesn't count. count. It's, it's not, not canon. canon. What's going on? What's happening? Hey guys, did you like this animation? Why not hit that subscribe button? And hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos come out. And while you're doing that, why not drop it a like? And share this video with your friends. And until the next animation, this is Edge, signing off.